Good morning, everyone. It's around like 6.30. I woke up around 15 minutes ago. I already almost finished my breakfast. You already know the deal. Peanut butter banana on, on toast. But I also had one scoop of GMM Sport in 16 ounces of water. Starting to take this down this morning. It's a great source of carbs and electrolytes before a workout. So especially not to hurt your stomach too much. So I love taking that before my morning conditioning. I've been doing that recently. But today we have conditioning and then lift in the afternoon um, for the team. And then I have work tonight. So pretty busy day. So let's get right into it. Fuck it. One thing I've been doing in the morning, taking out a cross ball that's been in the freezer. I've been rubbing like my foot out with it. So I like put it on the ground. And I use it to rub out the bottom. Ooh. And I use it to rub out the bottom of my feet. My feet get like real stiff when I'm running. This helps rub them out, especially with like the new shoes that we just got. I do it for like 30 seconds each foot, a minute each foot, and that's pretty much it. Just something little, just help me get my day started, help me get a little warmed up so my feet don't ache when I'm running. But now guys, I'm about to head over to the Xfinity Center, and I'll see you after conditioning. All right, what's up everyone? I just got back from morning conditioning. It was it was a tough one, like always, but uh, we had to do buddy carries for, I think it was around a little less than three miles or a little more than three miles, just around that. It was like, you and your, you get a partner and then you run and you can switch whenever you want. We end up switching like every like, I don't know, like every like 50 feet or something like every 100 feet. Me and my partner would switch and then you just keep doing back and forth, back and forth until we did one, one loop was a mile. Then he was like, all right, you can get a drink or you can just go right away. We ended up doing right away, second loop, second mile. And then we did the two like, I think they're like half mile or a little bit less than half mile loops. So a little less than three miles, buddy carries, great conditioning workout. Um, we can pull it up my whoop and see how many calories I actually burned and see wasn't too many calories burned. Ooh, you see that? It was, if you can see that or not, it's like 608 calories burned, 14.6 strained. Max heart rate was a 187. So we, we got up there. It was a, it said six minutes at 90 to 100% of your max heart rate. So we got better today. And uh, that's, that's what we'd like to hear. So um, I just opened up a Gatorade Zero. Taking this down a little bit, gotta have some water, and now I'm gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast. So, we are actually gonna make Kodiak cakes, but we are also going to add this blueberry muffin whey protein by BPM, link in bio. This is some of the best protein I've ever had in my life. So we're gonna do one scoop of the Kodiak cakes, and then one scoop Whey protein. This is what we're working with right now. To add a little bit more water. So we have that. <clears throat> Before we actually make the pancakes, we already made the batter. We're gonna make the blueberry glaze that we're gonna put on top of our, blue, of our um, blueberry pancakes. All I'm gonna do is take a little saucepan. So we're gonna put the temperature up to medium high heat. Take the rest of our blueberries, very minimal in here. Pour them in there. And then we're just gonna let them heat up and then we're gonna mash them. Starting to break up, just gonna smash them. This. Once they get to about like this, just gonna put them to the side. 
turn the burner off. Maybe we can have these cool down. We want them to look kind of like this. Kind of like this, like syrupy. And make sure we're gonna cool down. This is gonna be what we're gonna put on top. So now we're gonna make our pancakes. We're gonna take our batter, and I like using the spoon to make like better circles. All right, let's check. Looks like our pancakes are all done. Let's try to stack them as neatly as possible. Get that little presentation going. Then we're gonna take our our blueberry sauce and just put it right on top. Absolutely stunning. Okay, guys, just made the breakfast. Here's what it came out to. Four beautiful blueberry pancakes with BPN whey protein. I almost forgot what I also put on my pancakes. It's this Carrie's sugar-free syrup that literally just tops it off. As you see, I was already a couple bites in, but let's add some of, some of this. A little taste test for you. Hmm. Yeah. It's a lot better. With that. Carry sugar free maple syrup. I just finished my breakfast and now it's time for the strong stack. The morning strong reds, strong greens. And also it is two fish oil pills, one vitamin D and one vitamin C. One scoop of strong greens. One scoop of strong reds. A frother. So refreshing after a workout. All right guys, so the main purpose of this video is I wanted to talk about why people burn out and how not to burn out. So I don't know if you've been like this or you know someone like this, but someone played a high school sport or a middle school sport and they stopped and afterwards they stopped working out completely. They have no motivation to better themselves in that sort of fitness type of way, even though it's extremely healthy for you. And the main reason, in my opinion, is they lose track of a goal. They don't have anything they're working towards. For example, in a high school sport, let's say you play soccer or you play football, you're training every day to win the soccer game or to win the championship. And same thing in football, win the championship, win a football game. But as soon as you're done with that, you have no reason to train. So what I believe that most people should do after playing a high school sport or playing even a college sport, this is what I'm gonna do after college, is find a goal that you can work towards. This could be a bodybuilding show. This could be running a triathlon or running a marathon. Or it, maybe it's personal, maybe like, hey, I wanna get to 200 pounds of muscle and just having a goal that you're working towards every day. Because once you have a goal, you can make a structured plan to achieve that goal. But if you're just going to the gym, you're like, hey, I'm just gonna work out today. It's gonna be hard because you're like, oh, you, let's, oh, let's say for example, you go into a workout, you make it up on the spot, and you're like, oh, I'm not really feeling it today. But those are the days that you wanna have a structured plan because you push yourself a little bit more and not sell yourself short. So, if I were you, don't burn out, set a goal, set a target for yourself to achieve that goal. Nick Bear, he always talks about just signing up for something. Signing up for a 5K, signing up for a marathon, signing up for a bodybuilding show. And you just signed up, you're already committed. Now you have to do it. So, sign yourself up for a 5K, sign yourself up for a half marathon. Strive to better yourself today in your fitness goals, because overall, it helps a lot. 
we have to go to a lunch with the team. I sadly can't bring my camera, but I'm gonna take a picture. This is what I had for lunch. Uh, I don't know what it is yet, but it probably was fire. So we're gonna head to lunch. I'll see you guys after. All right, guys, so I just got back from lunch. It was absolutely fire. Now I'm about to make some pre-workout because I gotta head over to Xfinity for a great lift. So, if you watch my previous videos, you know I go a little bit of water, then we go a Gatorade Zero. I actually saw another BPN athlete, Russ Swole, He's the one who put me onto this, I saw the video. I was like, I have to try it. Absolutely fire. Just a little bit. Just about, put a little bit more. Just about like that. And then the final product, you gotta add the BPN flight. I'm still waiting on my endo pump. I ordered it, so hopefully it comes in the next day or so. So next video, I will have my endo pump. But we're gonna do a fat scoop today. We're gonna, a little, we're gonna do a little heaping scoop. I've, I've been feeling it pretty tired this week and I wanna get after it today. So, got a full scoop, a little more than a full scoop. This, we'll shake it up. And then we're gonna head over to Lyft. All right guys, I just got out of Lyft. I had a head to my mom's work. Um, drop something off to her so I'm just in the car right now about to head to a dinner because we got some recruits here um, visiting so I gotta head over there it's around 4 o'clock right now dinner's at 4 30 then uh, before I just gotta lift so before I head to dinner I have to have this I'm gonna have this muscle milk protein shake um, I'm probably not gonna have any snacks with it because I am about to eat dinner right after um, and then I guess I'll see you guys after dinner at the house. All right, everyone. I just got back from dinner. I ended up having this like kale salad. I'll put it up right here. It was actually pretty fire. Um, we went to the hall. Um, like it has, like it was like ten of us, ten, twelve of us, something like that. And uh, I, I had a good time, but I had to leave a little early because I had to get some homework done because I didn't get my homework done earlier in the week like I should have but I have eight o'clock um, work, so I have to leave pretty soon, so I had to hurry up, rush back, get some homework done. I need to be a little bit more responsible with that, but uh, I'm almost done with it, actually, and then we're gonna head into work. All right, everyone, I'm about to head into work. It's around like 7.30, 7.35, something like that. Uh, I gotta get there by 7.45. I appreciate all the love on my previous videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed the advice that I gave you uh, how, how not to burn out. So I plan to have a lot more content like this in the near future, but please like, subscribe, comment. If you want to get VPN subs, use the link in the bio. I appreciate y'all. Peace out.